happy Saturday, everybody. I am about ready to start putting in these wood posts. Yesterday, I finished putting in the rest of the T-posts. I do need to go back with the little hand sledgehammer and hit a couple of them in. Along that tree line over there, I was hitting roots. Just one root after the next. And I did get the dreaded blisters on my blisters, but that's okay. We're healing up, we'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, I just have to finish tapping those in, but I just didn't want to look at them yesterday. I was, I was done. I was glad they were all in. <clears throat> so this is now framed out. The old fence lines have been removed. All the old wire has been removed. I'm going to put in these three wood posts, and then we are going to have to make a run to get some fencing supplies. I need insulators, I need wire, and I need gates. So I'm not sure what that's going to look like. I have it in my mind what I want to get, but we'll see when the time comes, you know, what I actually come home with. Um, yeah, and I wish we would have done that. I, I ran to Rural King to make a feed run and you know, two carts full of grain and I forgot. I forgot to get the fencing stuff, so that sucks. I'm not going to go back up there. That's It's almost I, it's like just shy of an hour one way so we try to do that just one time a week but <laughs> I gotta stop chatting I gotta get to work because it is absolutely disgustingly humid out here it's supposed to rain I hope it rains to knock some of this humidity down because it's just foul so but yeah, without further ado I'm gonna back up the camera a little bit probably put you guys on a time lapse because nobody needs to go through the painful bit by bit motion of me doing these posts. So here we go. All right, guys, the first post is in. I leveled it all the way around to make sure that uh, it was perfectly straight and we're good to go. I put it in 24 inches. Where we live, we have one of two things. We either have clay or pure shale. And then this particular hole was all shale. So I am confident that 24 inches down in pure shale is going to hold probably for an eternity. And we are using treated four by fours to hold these gates up. In the past, I've got the nice big round, uh, six inch, eight inch uh, posts that you buy for fencing and they just inevitably rot at the bottom, no matter what you do. And um, I think that in my personal opinion, these treated four by fours are just a better choice. Uh, I don't know if you have access to great locust posts, those will probably be even better yet. Uh, yeah, you could dip them in things like tar or whatnot. I didn't. I just put in a 4x4. It's good. As I was talking to you guys, I did just notice something that is probably not so good. <laughs> the post is sturdy. Yes. The post is also... I don't know if you'll be able to see. Uh, the post is slightly skewed, so I want to hang the gate here and you can see it's slightly twisted. The gate's gonna go to that T-post there. Yeah, that was my short-sightedness. However, I think that you can pivot the mounting points of those gates just a little bit. And also, I think we just adjust the angle that the mounting hardware goes through this 4x4. Ultimately, I think it's going to be okay. Just, I got to do better on the next two. All right, time to get this next post in. Uh, this one's going to be for the gate to go sideways. So I'll put you guys on a time lapse and we'll get this one in.
Post number two, put hi. in. Oh. Harley and Chase are back there saying hi. Hello. I'm gonna run inside and grab a quick drink of water, replace the band-aid because it's coming off. And I got one more post to do that we can go get fence. Okay guys, we're back. So I got two miles of smooth. Yeah, two miles of smooth electric fence right there. We got two of these gates. I don't need that gate yet. Funny thing is the 12 foot gates were on sale. The 10 foot gate that I need for there was actually more expensive than the 12 foot gates. It's all right. So anyways, that and I'll show you the other one. Also, this alleyway will be done with the red brand woven wire four foot field fence. So we'll come down here. It's really starting to take shape. It's starting to rain, so that's why I'm getting ready to bail. But I'll turn you around, Hi. Harley. There's the gate there at the end. So looks really good. Cleaning everything up now. We're cleaning out. Yep, I did. Okay, I will. Uh, we're taking down the pool, cleaning out where the equipment has accumulated over the summer. We're going to take the hay down and unload that later, but we'll catch up with you when the lovely rain has stopped. That's good. All right, guys. Well, it went from sunny skies to fall like that. So I wasn't able to work on the fencing project because it has done nothing but rain. So I'm trying to figure out where I left my pliers because I need them. I think they might be in the barn. So let's go take a look. We're going to get the mini skid while I'm down here because I need it. I'm going to try to use it to unroll the woven wire and then I'm going to try to use it to pull it tight. So that's probably going to take some finagling. But we will, uh... well, hi, Scotty. The lights are on already. Hi, everybody. All right, let's see if I can find the pliers. I'll catch you guys back up up there. All right, guys, so here we have the red braid. This is the filled fence, so it's bigger squares, okay? I have it in place by the T-post here that I'm gonna be attaching it to. And we have to go down this fence row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it. Harley's gonna stand on this side of it and I'm gonna roll it down the hill. And then we're gonna attach it to this fence post here. And then I'm gonna use the mini skid and a little contraption to pull this tight as we go so that this fence will be strong, nice and tight. So I'll keep you guys posted with that, but first let's get this stretched out. Okay, so we just generically got it tacked up. Yes, I forgot you nails, but actually I kind of like this better wrapping it around the post because I feel like it's gonna be more secure. So, and what you wanna make sure to do, and like I said, this is just, it's not done yet. I have to come back and fix these twists and everything, but make sure you fold your first one back because these will come off the end. So always make sure you fold it back and you have that folded in. And I'll probably come back and wrap these with wire to make it secure. But for right now, we just have it kind of tacked up. And then we're going to put tension on it. And we're going to take all this slop out. And it's going to be really, really nice. So I have to go get a couple things. Okay, guys. So here is said contraption. So I have a come along here. It attaches. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry attaches to the back of my grapple bucket, okay? And to that, I have this, this chain is used for, you know, attaching to like backhoes or whatever. If you need to lift something heavy, you would put this around it and then put this and then it would lift it with the boom. I like using this chain, even though it's ridiculously heavy, but it has these two loops on the end, so it makes it super easy. 
And this is the idea I got, I stole from my uncle. This is an old piece of conduit fence pipe. See, my pap used to use this conduit and he would tap holes in it and put his nails in and bend them. Anyways, that goes through the wire, weaves in and out. And so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna back it up kind of a, at an angle a little bit so that I can keep the chain as close as I can to over there. And then when this is pulled tight, see how it's real sloppy now? When it's pulled tight, it'll go up against the T-post and we'll strap it to them. And then that'll hopefully be that. So yeah, wish us luck. Okay, so behind me, you can see we got this whole row of woven wire up. I'll walk you guys down it so you can see how nice and snug it is. But down here, we just wrapped it around this post and I kind of tied it back to itself. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Doesn't look beautiful, but we're here, you know, form over function, function over form, I suppose. But let's look. So it pulled it nice and tight whole way there's a couple little areas like right here this is where I had that uh, post in so kind of like bubbled it a little bit but and of course right here that's where I had that fence post you know down through so it kind of pulled it but yeah on up to that one where it's wrapped around as well so that is a big win now i think i'm going to run in and have a quick lunch which you'll actually see in another video and then i think we're going to start the smooth wire so that i can get this part of the fence buttoned up and then i can maybe move the cows so that's going to be four lines of smooth electric and i think once i get the insulators in and make sure that everything's cleared off the fence line that should go pretty quick and all i have to do is add one gate and i can put the cows out uh so yeah that's pretty exciting and then i can finish this whenever i get that done but yeah i think that looks fantastic hi guys it is day 999 of putting in this fence I thought I was done putting in T-posts, but I have a couple more I have to put in. Insulators are going on. I have still a little bit of mess from the stuff I tore out, but you can see I have the bottom row up partially. When we got back here to the back where I already had T-posts and insulators, it was way overgrown. So I had to take yesterday evening and clear some brush. Now I'm going down there to put in a couple T-posts because I apparently had at some point put in a temporary step-in post and that's not going to work for a permanent fence. So I'm going to go down there and put in those T-posts and then I will be back and we'll be stringing some wire. So. All right guys, four lines up. The fence is done-ish. We still have to put up the gates which we're going to go do right now and um, put up the other side of the woven wire fence. I didn't videotape me putting up this smooth electric because it would just be too difficult to keep moving you guys and unroll the spool. It was just, it was a lot. And I kind of just wanted to hurry up, buckle down and get it done. But I'll show you what I do. Now, somebody's going to tell me this isn't the correct way. And that's okay. I respect that. This is the way I do it. And I will show you, I will tell you why I do it in a minute. So when we run our electric, you see the insulators here? I give it a good wrap around every single one of them. The reason why I do that is because if a cow comes through this line and breaks it, that line doesn't come down, that line doesn't come down, just this middle line. 
I've learned the hard way. Sometimes when one line breaks and it will spring back and a, a whole row of T-posts would be, you know, without fence. So this way it's done. And if one piece breaks, the rest of them don't. So that's why I do this. What's that? Oh yeah, Cody was weed eating. You want to go unstuck that? But we got all of this done. Goes the whole way down up here. And then it comes up the tree line here. So we're ready to go. We're ready to hang some gates and then string the rest of that woven wire and then we'll get the cows out. So we are in the final stretch. It feels so good. I can't believe the cows are gonna be moved today. And look at this great pasture that we grew for them too. It's really quite nice. So I shouldn't have to hear them scream at me for, you know, at least a couple of days. I'm surprised they're not squawking at me now. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down and we'll get going on these gates. Hey. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Oh my Easy. God, Easy. Hey, hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. If I get Chase the bob. Here, this way. Chase, get up there. Get up there. Yeah, right there. Don't let him go that way. Come on. Caleb, we're coming. Okay, I need to get around the uh, the back of the house over there so that they don't go up. They're going the wrong way. Chase, over here, honey. Come on. Come on. That's it. Watch out, Chase. <laughs> Come on, cows. Come on. Come on. Get up behind them, guys. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on. Come on, cows. That's fine. Come on. Here, here, wave, wave, Jeff. Come on, Nut. Come on, get in on him. Jeff. Come on, right in here, girls. Right here. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Good girl. Come on. No, don't let him back out. Harley, watch out. alleyway done. I still have to finish the top, but the, I have to build a building for that and everything, so. Look at them. Oh, yeah. And the fifteen. Rebels down there by that water hole we dug. Are you sure they're not going to fall in it? No, I don't think so. Rebel, don't fall in the hole, baby. <laughs> Sir? They're happy, happy. They shouldn't be yelling at me for a while. With that, guys, 
that's going to finish up this video, which has spanned almost the course of a week. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have fencing questions or tips, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.